Yo, I want to make a video about this whole GMI Young Jeezy situation. And apparently they got divorced as I'm making this video a few hours. Like a good 10, 12, 14 hours before I made this video. But I can't really say I'm not surprised because she is an American. She's a typical modern, modern female. Young Jesus, he's not perfect, so that's why I got multiple angles at this whole situation. First of all, I don't know why Young Jeezy wiped her up in the first place when she's basically leftover Christmas cake. Leftover Christmas cake. Let's do Mary Brad's leftover. I mean, even Brad dissed her and talking about how he got rid of trash and got with treasure. He married a whole white woman. And she acts like the typical modern day female. So obviously she's a walking red flag. I mean, I mean, she even talk about getting ran through by black dudes and shit. She was talking about how dark meat on the side, white meat is the main course and shit. So she already told how she felt, which is really not a surprise. And I, I was reading comments because a lot of people made a video on this situation and I was just watching videos and looking at comments because I love looking at comments. Someone tried to low-key defend her talking about how what well, she had to say that because she was married to a white dude at the time. That's nonsense. She was divorced by him at the time when she made that comment. She just admitted that black dudes are not really her first choice. Like that. That's just on some fetishized type of shit so this whole situation is crazy and it really puts a nail in the coffin on how I think about some of these Asian chicks here in America is that many of these chicks they got that the white ISIS colder mentality that's obvious but yeah, Young Jeezy did it to himself, man. He should have saw these red flags. He should have vetted this chick better. And even if you vet, that doesn't 100% guarantee that nothing's going to fall apart. It's just if you vet and things don't work out still, at least you can say, hey, you tried your best. You tried to vet. But Young Jeezy, he's not necessarily a red pill type dude or a thinking black male. He's just a typical person in society. And another reason why it may not have, uh, it wasn't going to work out is because their personalities is a little bit different. Now, young Jeezy, it looks like he got some social skills, a little bit of charisma, so he can connect with somebody. But overall, his personality, he, he likes to keep things to himself, keep his life private and shit. Not have every single thing on social media she ain't mine she's out there she she talks too much and, and she likes to put everything on social media so that was probably going to be a problem and I see a lot of daggles out here a lot of, see, they got a, they got so much animosity to brothers bro it's, it's, instead of explaining this situation talking about the situation for what it is they're using this situation to take shots at black men. And someone try to low key say, oh, this is going to be passport bros next. Don't that sour grapes trying to take shots at us, at brothers. Cybernetic G talking about how old brothers are being silent about this. Like, you need to worry about that black Somali chest financing y'all out of 40K. You silent about that. Then I'm really getting tired of O'Shea, bro. Like, O'Shea's doing the most. O'Shea talked about it. And then he talking about, you brothers, you getting with these non-black shit, especially the Asian ones, thinking that everything's going to be sweet and shit. And then he played that video of Kim Chi Karen. Bro, like, she was raised by white people, literally. So I was, she's going to get that that feminist backy shit in her 
and she thinks the white ice is colder, she's really going to think that on a high level because she's literally being raised by them. So you really being disingenuous, but I digress. I'm not necessarily defending young Jesus. I'm just having an open mind from different points. Young Jeezy, the thing about him is that he's a pookie. Right now, currently, he's a reformed pookie. But he was moving like a pookie when he first came out in the industry, dude. This dude is a serial baby, baby mama maker. This dude had a couple of baby mamas before he got with Jimmy, um, Jenny Ma. Even had side chicks on the side, everything on all his relationships but it seems like ever since his previous relationship in recent times it seems like from the past few years he's been trying to clean his act up so it's kind of like he's a reformed pookie he's not moving like he was moving he's trying to reclaim his image and I, I got a couple of theories one of them I think that it's possible that that whole relationship was just a deal it was planned out He's trying to repackage his whole image. So this whole thing, him getting married to Jimmy Ma, being a family man, not being the stereotypical gangster rapper type brother. It's kind of it was kind of cleaning his image up because he's over here moving better. He's trying to do business, real estate, I mean real estate, stuff like that. He's trying to do he's trying to do things the right way. But unfortunately, he divorced Jimmy Ma for some reason. And my my whole other theory is that this might have actually been real. Like, if you really look at the videos of them together, it's like he was more into it than her. I seen a lot of these videos of them together and stuff. It's like he was more into it. Like he actually didn't have one foot in, one foot out. It, it was like he had both foot in. He probably did actually cared about her and then wanted to make things work out with her and shit but it just didn't work out for some reason I'm hearing rumors that the rumor is that she's still she's still involved with her her ex hubby at least got contact with him and that's a huge red flag a very huge red flag man Hey, she she's been passed around. Let, let's not get it twitched. She's been passed around in the industry. But the whole situation is not surprising. I just hate how you got a lot of these ops out here that trying to use this whole situation to try to get at black men. And I notice every time brothers get into an unfortunate situation, especially with a non-black chick, some of these black chicks out here, they try to make it about black men's dating choices instead of making about the situation at hand and that really comes out as bitter and sour grapes because guess what this stuff happens when brothers stay with um the sisters too they go through the ringers with them too sometimes relationships don't work out and they get divorced or whatever they got going on in their relationship they go through this with these sisters too but y'all want to make it seem like see that's what you get this is what's gonna happen when you go with these with these non-black chicks thinking they better. But guess what? You ain't no better either. Brothers go do that shit with y'all for the most part. Because most brothers deal with y'all. Doing a lot of this finger point, man. It's crazy out here. And I gotta call. I do gotta call. I do gotta um pull SYSBM, my fellow SYSBM brothers. I gotta pull y'all card for the bit. This ain't a diss, but but we got to get out this mindset that thinking that these dumb black chicks and these white chicks are that much better than than these shea butter chicks. Like y'all got to vet these chicks too. Stop thinking that they're go all all of a sudden they're gonna be better for you just because they're not black. You got to vet them just like everybody else, dude. I'm letting you brothers know off the rip. Especially in this culture we in. But it's a route, man. All these women are the same. All these American women, bro. They act the damn same. Shane, we got to stop. 
just blaming everything on Keisha. And I really got to, um, I got to call out anonymous commentary because he, he always talking about Keisha, right? And this is not a diss. I'm just saying, brother, you, you always calling out Keisha, but you ain't got nothing to say about Becky, Maria, and uh, Ling Ling. They out here moving the same way. Even dudes in their own community is complaining. Yeah, and I got to give a shout out to Rolando G because he's one of the only ones who's keeping it a buck out here. And shout out to um, Mad Bus Driver, but at the same time, bro, we not keeping it a buck. Like, we got to stop thinking that Becky just automatically going to be a quality Stargate. Maria and Ling Ling and Kimchi Karen's out here going to be a quality Stargate just off the rip. Especially in America, dude. A lot of these chicks are for the streets. Seeing like she had a fetish. But Young Jesus took it to some other shit. And then it's probably what she wasn't really expecting, but she just went with it anyways. And, and this is what I've been saying. Like, it's like when it comes to green, all of a sudden our blackness is not a problem. That's one of the negative sides of being fetishized, bro. You got to realize some of these shits, they're not going to take you serious. You're not long term for some of these chicks. You just to have fun with and that's it for some. And you got to keep that in mind. You got to make sure these chicks are for you and they on your program. Jeezy, bro, he should have just F donor. You no, know, read that little box she got. Them little cheeks she got on her. Had her down legs behind her back. All doing all the tricks. And she lied. She got she a throat goat. He should have just did. We we should have uh, had to do and kept it pushing. But bros out here falling in love and shit, trying to fall in love, which I can't really blame him because he probably done ran through a lot of women before in his life, man, a lot. And he he wants something meaningful. Everybody wants something meaningful eventually, but we gotta make sure it's the right person. And just don't jump to conclusion because a person is built a certain way. Yeah, P.S. I wanted to uh, add that when she was with her husband, her white husband, right? She was talking about how she didn't really respect him. She wasn't really being cooperative and shit. So those are red flags. So don't think she wasn't out here cheating on the dude i'm not saying that this is fact but she could have actually been cheating on young jeezy bro it wouldn't be surprised if that was the case i'm not saying she she did it i'm not saying that's a fact but i wouldn't be surprised and she was blindsided by this whole thing these papers these divorce papers she was blindsided by it because she had a few video no she had a video and a few posts of her talking to talking about young Jeezy in the good light. Next thing you know, two days later, divorce papers. I'm gonna be on young Jeezy's side on this one and mutual because you know how some of these modern chicks are. They're good actors. They can pretend like these they're this little angel and deep down they're not. A lot of these shits they're wearing masks and shit. That can just be her wearing a mask. But I, I, I'm going to call some of you dudes out because I remember some of you guys were up in this. I remember uh, International Passport made a video about this, but he were, he really wasn't up in it. He he made a video based on the question: Should brothers give women more than women a chance? And uh, and a lot of brothers was actually disagreeing, saying no. It again that video was more of a question, but I'm about to go in everybody's comment section. And I'm going to post I'm going to post the comment Yo they got a divorce bro I was wondering what other guys Are going to think about it Like Black Man Mr. Z Edward Anderson uh, General Tito BJS Itmore Keep It 100 Grinch Even Mad Bus Driver I wonder what he going to think about it I, I really want to know what Mad Bus Driver Think about it I support SYSBM, but this whole thing in America, bro, this ain't it. I even made a video calling it out a few months ago that 
it's getting to the point where the only way to be SYSBM if you go overseas or you just vet vet real really good and make sure she's on your program if you want to be SYSBM in the states because the block is getting hot in the states man it's it's damn near these um bimbos are damn near unwaffle wifeable my bad they're damn near unwifeable Seriously, man, it's getting crazy out here. And the government, they are trying to fix the problem. They're trying to get rid of alimony, permanent alimony. They need to get rid of everything. Child support, they need to get rid of alimony completely. People should get nothing. That's going to slow a lot of this nonsense down. And there needs to be mandatory DNA tests. And if I was Jeezy, I'd make sure I get a DNA test on that boy because I think they got a son. It ain't been too long ago since he was born. But if I was Jeezy, I'd get a DNA test on him. Now, I know that girl his because the girl looked just like young Jeezy. Now, the girl looked just like Jimmy Ma. As she getting older, she's kind of looking like Jimmy Ma. A little blazing Jimmy Ma. But I'm telling, I'm telling you, bro. Brothers better start talking about this. Or I'm gonna call people out. I'm gonna start calling people out if they don't co- talk about this shit. 